Pestbox was formed to advance body and chip technology so it will become a common tool in toxicology and drug development. We are the original human on the chip company. We do primarily contract research for commercial customers and work with grants and contracts from government sources, primarily NIH. We operate as a service company rather than trying to sell devices due to the inherent complexity of the technology. These systems can be applied to pharmaceutical, food, cosmetic, and chemical industries where toxicity is critical. These systems can be applied to evaluate not only single compounds, but mixtures of compounds. They can be used as human surrogates, as animals respond differently than humans to many chemicals. And the fact that we can now use human cells, especially induced pluripotent stem cells, is we can actually then start looking at personalized medicine because we can actually take someone who say has a rare disease and incorporate, you know, differentiate their tissues up, okay, to be able to put the ones that are affected by the disease in the chip-based system, and then you create what is called a phenotypic model, which is the disease shows a deficit, okay? And then you have something, a healthy tissue, and you can then compare the two. And you can then take a compound, and if it restores the function back up to the healthy-like tissue, then you know you have efficacy for your drug. Hesperus's conduction velocity model can be used to investigate drug compound toxicity as well as generate efficacy data for novel therapeutics. The conduction velocity model is especially useful for investigating autoimmune diseases where the body's immune system is attacking the insulation around nerve fibers. We're using our conduction velocity model to study two rare diseases. One is called multifocal motor neuropathy. Uh, the other disease is called chronic demyelinating inflammatory polyneuropathy. The model uses human uh, induced pluripotent stem cells and human Schwann cells. The cells are plated on microelectrode arrays and that allows us to monitor the functional readouts of action potential frequency as well as conduction velocity. We have created a serum-free human model system to study the neuromuscular junction where we are able to monitor muscle contraction in real time as the motor neurons innervate the muscle. We are also able to create dose response curves using different um, NMJ blocking agents such as bungrotoxin, Karari, and Botox. We can also use our NMJ systems to study efficacy. Currently, we are examining Lou Gehrig's disease or ALS, as well as myasthenia gravis. For ALS and MG, we are able to create a phenotypic model by either using patient-derived induced pluripotent stem cells and or patient serum that can induce the disease phenotype. One of the advantages of these systems, especially for personalized medicine, say for cancer, so what we can actually do, we can look at efficacy and off-target tox for individual patients' cancers, and we're actively looking at working with clinicians to start being able to do that for cancer patients, because we're set up to do it right now at Hesperos. After college, I was given a surprise cancer diagnosis um, that was advanced stage four. And the reason why I survived after spending two years in a uh, very dramatic two years in the hospital was because of advances in medicine. The advantages of the system being developed here is you can string together multiple organs and get an actual representative view of how the human body will respond when you introduce new uh, drug compounds or new therapies. In a word, these systems provide hope. They provide hope to every person fighting a rare disease or advanced stage cancer that is hoping for um, a new treatment. These systems we've described today are available right now to customers. You send us the compound, we can actually evaluate it and give the results to you in a reasonable amount of time for at a reasonable cost. Our PPVK-based system has many unique features as being self-contained, simple, reliable, low-cost operation that mimics human physiology. Our leadership in this area comes from the combination of our technologies, the excellence of our staff, their experience and dedication, and our many corporate and academic partners. Right now, it's about 11% of drugs that actually go into clinical trials end up being approved. If we could simply double that success rate, cut the cost of drugs in half, and so we believe by working directly with medicinal chemists, we increase the probability, okay, of that happening.